Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am off work. This is actually day one of my vacation, which all these episodes will be airing after my vacation. So, you know, um, but I'm going to be just doing some playing around with makeup. All I've got to really do today is go get groceries and then do housework. But I'm going to be playing around a little bit more with the cream contour. Um, I've already primed my face. I'm using the Professional from Benefit. Just have a little sample size of it. Already primed my face. So I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay Naked Skin uh, Shape Shifter Palette. And I'm going in with this Deep Shade for the contour. I have a little no name flat brush that looks like that. And so I'm just going to go in with this and go right in where I would contour at and lay down some product and I'm going to go in with this Moda brush, this nice little oval brush and I'm going to go in and kind of just buff that down. It buffs out very well so I mean it's no real problems there so I'm just going to go in buff that out see how it really buffs out very well so then I'm going to go back in with that same flat brush I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing and go back in with this oval motor brush just like that okay I'm gonna take this right here Just like that, and I'm going to take, and I'm just contouring the uh, sides of my nose, so I'm taking this motor brush and I'm going down to buff it out. I just have this clean white towel. I'm just wiping the excess off right there onto that. Now I'm going to get another flat brush. This is a wet and wild brush. Flat brush. Going into the light color, which is right next to that dark color. I'm going to go down the center of my nose with a pretty generous amount to create that kind of effect. I'm going over the top of my contour and down the bottom of my contour to kind of carve that out a little bit. I'm also going to go right here because I want that to be the lightest area on my face. Then I'm just taking this brush after I put it on and I'm just kind of buffing that color 
out. So with like the center of my nose, I'm just buffing it up into the rest of that light shade. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm taking this Luxie 252 small shader brush right here. I'm going to go into the darker peach shade, which is a color corrector. I'm going to take it right here underneath my eyes and kind of color correct these dark spots, these like dark circles underneath my eyes. this highlighty shade which I'm going to attempt to use again so I'm just using another kind of flat um, brush from Wet n Wild. I'm just getting kind of a very generous amount and I'm going to go right above that light shade right here on my cheeks with the highlight shade and I'm just kind of buffing that in right above, give a little bit of luminous look. Right there. I'm gonna go right here on my chin a little bit with that. And a little bit right here on the cupid's bow. Okay, so since this is not a serious makeup day, like I'm not like, oh my god, I have to look perfect kind of day, I'm going to use a foundation that I really am not a fan of, but hey, it is what it is. This is the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless 3-in-1 Liquid Foundation. I'm not a fan of this stuff. Um, I can't wear it for very long because it makes my face itch, but um, I did buy it, so I kind of need to use it up. I'm going to go in with my damp sponge, and we're going to start applying this. Out of the way. 
don't like how it feels on my skin. It is not a favorite of mine at all. So we have that on. I'm going to go in with a little Fit Me Concealer. took the stopper out of this because uh, this is part of my project pan scenario so I took the stopper out of the tip uh, which it was clogging up a lot of product up in this area um, which has freed up some more product and I'm just trying to use the rest of this up so I have it just setting up like upright on my table and if you guys are wondering because if you watch enough of my videos you know I usually put concealer on my eyelids I'm going to actually try a lid primer of uh, yeah lid eyeshadow primer whatever today so I didn't put any concealer on my lids I didn't put any foundation on my lids and I'm actually gonna see what the difference is between using an eyeshadow primer and just using foundation and concealer on my lids so my lids are naked okay so I set my face real quick I'm just using this Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation that I've been using. Like, everything else is kind of like my regular stuff. Like, the only thing I changed up was this foundation, which I can already feel my face starting to itch. I just... There's something about CoverGirl, like, foundations that just does not agree with my face they just um, don't get along at all I don't know what it is okay so that is on I'm also going to be using this CoverGirl loose uh, what is this stuff called clean professional powder. I've taken the sifter out of this because we're getting right down here to the bottom of it. So we're going to just dip in. 
I'm going to be baking in my normal areas. There's no places where I usually crease. So even though I don't like really like this foundation, I'm going to give it all of its normal care that I would give if it was a foundation that like I loved. Okay, so there we go. That's all on. Now, eyeshadow primer, I'm using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. This is in original. So, I'm going to put some on my hand and I'm going to take this Alamar flat brush and I'm just going to coat that onto my lid space. I just don't get this. Now I need some more. Okay, so I don't like the brush. So I'm just going to use my finger. the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics and the Pure Festival palettes today. So I'm going to go into Urban Decay Naked Basics with this Wet n Wild Big Fluffy Brush. And I'm going to go into Pregame, which is just a basic shade, kind of my skin color. And I'm going to pat that over this primer, which is already creasing like crazy. Right, now I'm going to pat this side out and do the same on this side. go in with this elf crease brush and I want to go in with faith which is the shade right here and I'm gonna put that in my crease so I'm gonna start out by patting that shade into the crease just getting a basic color laid down we're going to go back in and blend it out. why I like 
like Urban Decay Shadow so much. And that's why. Because that I just lay down real quick and blend it out real easy. And I'm already over to the other eye with very little work. shadow's already done too. Okay, now I'm going to go in with, where's my other brush? I'm going to go in with this Luxie 209. This is a large shader brush. Looks like that. And this one I'm going to go into the Pure Festival palette. I'm going for this very warm tone arm shade right here and it's called Hidden Desert. that on there. I'm going to tap off a little bit of the excess and I'm going to go right to the outside corner. Take and bring a little bit of it up into the crease. I'm going to flip my brush over. Coated one side of the brush. I'm going to flip it over to the clean side and I'm just going to lightly Blur that edge right there. Then I'm going to get my original crease brush. No extra product. I'm just taking and blending those two shades together. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. take this little mini Urban Decay brush right here. I'm going to go into the shade Blow right here in the Basics palette. I'm just going to go right up here to this brow bone and work that around the brow bone. It has two effects to it. One, I'm just highlighting that brow bone just a little bit, but it's also blurring that edge of the shadow. Okay. Now, this is all matte. So I'm going to go into the Pure Palette because we have a bunch of shimmers so I'm going to start out with good vibes right here and then I'm going to go over to psychedelic which is this gold one right here so I'm going to take good vibes and mirror the outside corner and lay that down Clean off my finger. Then I'm going to take Psychedelic and go to the inside corner with that one. Then I'm going to take 
24 magic, 24K magic, which is this nice silver shade. Um, well, it's actually kind of a gold glitter kind of shade. I'm just going to tap that right in the middle of those two and give it a little bit of bling to your eye. Okay. So, um, that's what it looks like. Now we're going to dust off our bake. And I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush and make sure I get all the extra powder off my face. And then I'm going to take a little Smashbox primer water and spray my face down real good. And fan. Because I don't want my face having the allergy alligator skin complexion going on. Okay. Now then. So, I'm not going to go back into this palette for my powder contour because I want to do something with this Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. So I'm going to go into this. I want to play around with it a little bit. So, let's see here. I'm going to use this more medium to large Moda oval brush. I'm going to go down here to this warm tone color. And then I'm going to mix that a little bit with the Cool tone color, dust that off, and lay down a contour line. Ooh, that looks really dark. So I'm immediately going to try to tone that down as I knock stuff over on the table. It just looks horrible. Okay, going on to the next face, the side of my face. Just getting very aggravated with contour lately. See, watch this side's gonna turn out really good. This side's gonna look like shit. I'm just getting really tired of it. That's just, oh, okay. Not happy with that. Moving on, though, we're going to go into uh, bronzer. I'm going to use the Sunset Strip Tease by Wet n Wild. Wow. Both sides of my face look like I've gotten beat up. Okay. go in with this AOA Studios E11 brush.
so bronzer is on. Let's see if I can try to salvage this contour with a little bit of powder foundation. I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Dermagland foundation and see if I can't just cover that up just a little bit. I'll let that sit there for a minute. Okay, while that is sitting there for a minute, I'm going to skip over a couple of places on my face while I'm letting this sit on my face for a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. So I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Lifted Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Taupe. Just go ahead and fill in the missing areas right here in my brows. There that is. Now then, let's just see if I can kind of Okay. Kind of still looks like shit, but okay, whatever. Let's go on to blush. I'm using Pearlescent Pink by Wet n Wild. I'm just really not happy with my makeup at this point now. Because all that just came right off. This is Ciate London Highlighter. I'm going to go in with my Lexi 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush. I wish the highlighter could be distracting away from the bad contour. But it's not. And it's really bad contour. 
Very depressing condor. Anyway, moving on. So I have my brows done. Let's go in and do a little bit of mascara. Using this uh, L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise. Okay, I need a little bit of inner corner highlight to make my eyes look a little bit more open. So I'm going to go into this Pure Festival palette and I'm going to grab this AY Studios E124 brush and I'm going to go into Free Spirit right here. I'm going to coat that and go right up here into this inner corner and just lay that color down. Use this lip liner called Gone Burgundy from Wet n Wild. go in with this lip gloss from Dominique Cosmetics that I got in my BoxyCharm. This is peach tea. These smell like, like literal like cupcakes.
Okay, so with that lip gloss and the lip liner, it kind of makes me look like I have on lipstick. I'm not usually a huge fan of lip glosses, and I don't know how long I'll survive with this today. Um, but man, I just cleaned off the little applicator so I can put this back in here. Um, and this won't stay on my lips very long, I know, because I'm going to be vaping and stuff today, but, yeah, we'll see how this works out. But, uh, this is going to be it, so I'm going to set my face. Still very aggravated about the contour. <sighs> okay. Anyway guys, so I will let you know how this works out throughout the day, but I've got to go run errands, so I'll see you in a few. Bye for right now. Hey guys, welcome back. So, it's been a few hours since I did my makeup. Of course, the lip gloss has kind of gone away, but it did leave like a nice stain mixed with that lip liner, so it still looks like I have something on my lips. But, going back over kind of my, what I wore today, okay, of course, contour, jacked up, we're not going back there. And, going back for, like, eyeshadow, um, the glitter that I kind of pressed in the center of my eyeshadows actually wore pretty well without using a glitter glue so that's you know really well for you know this pure palette I got this in one of my boxy charms so not bad um, overall um, my shadow has not creased or anything so good on you uh, I shadow primer but that also is the thing with me just using my regular um, foundation and then putting a little um, concealer over that and powdering that so I don't really see a big difference in that except for it's not just as much product on my eye I guess um, Again, I'm not a huge fan of this foundation, but um, it's not creasing as much this time around, so, you know, hey, there's that. Um, but everything kind of held up well today. Um, I was out doing some stuff. I ran some errands, went grocery shopping. I went out to see my father, um, a couple of things with us kind of things so um it's very very hot today it's like in the 90s here in the south so very hot very humid um but everything kind of wore very well um but that is the update on the how my makeup wore today and uh, the different things that i put on my face um this professional primer. I didn't have like a breakthrough of my oils and stuff so that is very good. Um, but other than that, that is going to be it for this update. Um, I'm going to be working on some couple other vi videos for this week. So I've got to go do some more research and stuff so this makeup is probably going to be on for another hour or so and then I'll wash it off. But Anyway guys, just wanted to hurry up and do a check-in before I forgot and wash it off and be like, oh, I forgot to check in. But anyway guys, that is the update and I will see you guys on the next one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, ring that bell so that you're uploaded, updated every time I upload a video. If you want to, please leave a message down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about any of the products that I used in this video today and what are your experiences with those products. Uh, you can also look in the description box down below. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are all linked down below.
below also my email and there's also a link for a boxy charm if you want to check out the pro program it's $21 a month you get five full-size items and they're all name brand items so that you can try out different products from different name brand makeup brands and you get things like this pure palette or this Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss that I used in today's video. I also got these Luxie brushes that I used in today's video in that subscription box as well. So anyway guys, that's going to do it for today and I will see you in the next one. Thank you and I will see you tomorrow.